<gasps> so sorry I'm not like all dolled up right now. I am gonna show you guys all the makeup mistakes and how to correct them. So <laughs> This is the interesting part. So one side of my face is going to be the makeup mistakes, and the other side is going to be how to correct them. My left side, which means your right side, is going to be the... Just as a disclaimer, three of the mistakes I talk about in this video are mistakes that I wouldn't make, that I try not to make, because I do make them sometimes. And this doesn't necessarily mean that these are makeup mistakes. There is no right or wrong way to put on makeup. There really isn't. There are different styles, there are different ways. You can look like Taylor Momsen or you can look like Blake Lively. I don't can look however they want to look. Okay, yay! If you want to see me embarrass myself, please keep watching. And let's get started. First, yes, you do need primer. I don't mean like specifically primer, I just mean that you need to prime your face with something because you don't want to put makeup or any kind of foundation or powder on a dry face. I'm going to give you two examples. There's primer, which is what I usually use. Actually, you can use a moisturizer as a primer. So as long as you're putting something on your face that's so not like dry and flaky before you put on your makeup, even if you're oily, it's still a good idea to put on some kind of base before you start your makeup. So let's get on to the demonstration. Use foundation that matches your color. There are so many foundations to choose from. So please make sure you find the color that matches your skin tone. I'm going to insert a picture now of what I look like whenever I don't do this. It looks awful. I've been there, I've done it, I've done it a lot. So on my good side, I'm going to apply what I used in my previous video, which is the CoverGirl and Olay CC Cream. And I already applied my moisturizer, so please don't freak out. Side of foundation that matches my skin. Here's the foundation that doesn't match my skin. This was my summer foundation. It's Kat Von D. Love this stuff, but man, it is thick, thick, thick. So I'm using Dark Candy Glamouflage Concealer. If my skin were this dark, this would be too light. You buy a highlighting concealer, it's okay to get one that's a few shades lighter than your skin tone or than your foundation, but this is too much. So now I'm going to show you the right way to do it on the other side. So this is very light concealer, however, it's not too light that I can't wear it with my skin color. And the way I do that is I bring it down here like a V, and then back up to my cheekbones to accentuate it. Darker powder on this side, then a powder that matches my skin on this side. So, a big mistake that people like to do nowadays is to make their eyebrows too boxy and too big. Full eyebrows is kind of a trend, which is fine, but you don't want to go too many shades darker than what you already are, and you don't want to completely draw them on. myself a really thick bold brow and so that's the look you're going for is a thick brow go for something more like this rather than this <laughs> wow I look ridiculous I think this is a really easy makeup mistake to make so you don't want to have like super thick heavy blush all in like the apples of your cheeks. You're not actually supposed to put blush on the apples of your cheeks. It's supposed to create an illusion that your cheekbone is actually higher than it actually is. So this is what not to do. Go crazy in this thing. Have like a ton of blush on it, then just stick it on the apples of your cheeks. It just makes your cheekbone look lower. So what you do is you tap it a little bit, 
tap off the excess, and I mean like you don't want that much on it at all. I'm just going to apply this kind of like in an upwards motion towards my cheekbone. And I still use like a good amount of blush, so like you can still have like a lot of blush going on, but put it in a better place. And then just apply it circularly like on the sides of my face. I very quickly learned this is not the right thing to do. The right thing to do, number one, is use a thinner brush. Second, tap off so you have hardly any at all. And just apply it where you want to accentuate your cheekbone and apply it like in an upward motion. I am really pale. I'm going to apply some to my forehead and my temples to like warm up my face a little bit. recently is that not to create a ton of shadow on the sides of your nose. Actually, you're supposed to create more highlight and less shadow. So I'm going to show you what the difference is by first showing you what not to do. We are supposed to, yes, add a little bit of that bronzer on one side to define it. Lessen the amount of shadow that very, very subtle. I'm gonna take my finger and apply extra highlighter on this side. And I'm bringing it all the way down to my nose, which is what you shouldn't do. I'm gonna turn on my chin, my nose, and my forehead. So instead, I'm just going to apply it on my cheekbones, kind of just like in a circular motion. A little bit on my chin forehead and then blend that out. But you only really want to start out a little. It's kind of like the blush and bronzer thing. You don't want to overdo it. It's a lot harder to take off makeup than it is to add more on. I'm going to do a smoky eye today using pinks. Now I'm going to go and apply that crease color. And I'm going to apply it way over what it should be, which is all the way to the brow. Is not blending well, so I'm just going to demonstrate. Not really blending, just kind of packing it on and being lazy with it. Inside, I'm going to apply that base color first. I'm going to apply that crease, starting out small and then building up. I think the biggest mistake with liquid. Got it right underneath. Um, yeah, that looks horrible. It's actually kind of hurting, like bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go fix this real quick. And then here's the other side. I'm going to apply a little bit of bottom eyeshadow. I'm going to use a little bit of this green eyeshadow. The wrong way to do that would be to completely cake it all the way to the outer part of your eye, to the inner portion of your eye, like so. I'm going to do like an ombre effect, so it's just like a hint of it. I'm going to start thicker on the outside and fade into the center. part of your eyes. I always think it's a good idea to um, line your waterline with something light to emphasize that color and to make it look a little bit cleaner. The biggest thing about mascara is that it gets really, really messy to not take your time. It gets all over your eyes and it can completely ruin your eyeshadow. Um, the best tip I can give you with putting on mascara is to lean back and look into the mirror, look up your nose, and do it that way so it's not going to touch your eyeshadow at all. to do. It's gonna happen that you tap your eyelid. I know it happens all the time to me. The thing for you to do is to wet a Q-tip, wait for it to dry, remove it. So the time you can't even tell that there was mascara in there in the first place or that you removed it. 
tiny part of the makeup. So this is how we're looking so far. Exhibit A and Exhibit B. <laughs> I'm going to use a NYX Lip Crayon Rose. I'm going to demonstrate how not to overdraw your lips. When you overdraw your lips, you don't want there to be an obvious difference between the natural line of your lips and the drawn on ones. And this is what I mean. As you can see, that is just too much. Now I'm going to overdraw my lips um, in a way that is still natural looking, but it makes your lips look more full. This is Max Coral Bliss, and I'm going to go over both sides. As you can see, it's like okay to draw and to overdraw your lip line a little bit, just not excessively. Then I'm going to put on a little bit of gloss as well. This is NYC's Pleasantly Plum Pink. That's it. <laughs> Here you guys can see a picture of what's his name, Bruce Jenner. Here is. The better side of my face, and here is the worst side of my face. <laughs> Whoa, this is so weird looking. So I try not to like over exaggerate too much on this side. I just wanted to show you some pretty common mistakes that most people make that can be fixed and are very easy to fix. I'm not saying they look bad because usually when people make these mistakes it's usually one or two of the mistakes and not all of them at one time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this like really really weird random video and fun for me to like completely make a fool out of myself. Bye guys! Be sure to subscribe and stick around. <laughs> Maybe I should just like draw a line. I wonder how good my lines are. Ah, it's already crooked! I just want to film Halloween tutorials. My FaceTime my fiance. <laughs>